Hey guys, it's Sam from Ryzen Lab again, and in this Ryzen UV quick tip, we're going to be taking a look at how we can select occluded geometry. So let's pop on over to the application to see what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are in Ryzen UV. Uh, it's a very simple scene. We've just got a sphere in here, and it's already been unwrapped and laid flat. So we've got this select tool selected, and I'm in polygon mode. So what I'm going to do is just select a bunch of polys here. And as you can see, a bunch of polygons have been uh, selected on this island here. And if we scoot around to the back, you can see that nothing has been selected on the back side of it. So how would you make it so you could select through the object and uh, select geometry on the other side? Essentially selecting occluded geometry. Well, you can go up to the select menu here and go all the way down here to ray casting. And you'll see that we've got a few options. We've got ray casting mode auto, which is the default, and we're on it now, signified by this little pip here. We've got ray casting mode enabled and disabled. So I'm actually going to disable ray casting mode. So let's click ray casting disabled. And let's try this again. So I'm going to select a bunch of polygons here. And now you can see that we've got a selection here and a selection on the back. So if we scoot around to the back, we've got selected polygons. That's essentially what uh, ray casting is. A ray is fired out from the camera's position or the view's position. And if it hits an object, it will say, select this, but you don't go any further. If we turn ray casting off, it just means the ray goes it keeps going forever despite whether it's hit anything on and that's why you get a selection around the back something else to note you may notice that our selection on the front is on this island here but our selection on the back appears to be much bigger so what i'm going to do is actually scoot around to the front mode like this just by clicking this here you'll center this we'll do it again we'll make a selection and again you'll notice that this selection on the front isn't reflected on the back it's much wider and that's because of our camera's field of view if you wanted parity between this selection at the front and the selection at the back we can actually alter the um, focal depth by going up here and you have the option to uh, change the perspective so you can switch from a perspective mode to an orthographic mode if i click that we are now in orthographic i can make another selection and now you can see that the front and back are the same selections. I'm just going to go back to perspective again and unselect. And I want to go back to the select menu and go into raycast again. So initially we were on auto and you couldn't select polygons behind. So we turned raycasting mode off, disabled, and then you could select behind. So with that in mind, what is the difference between auto and enabled? Because if I click enabled, and make a selection you can see that we select on the front and nothing gets selected on the back so this is almost this is exactly the same behavior as auto so what are the differences between ray casting on auto and ray casting just on well i'm going to go back to the select menu go down to ray casting and we'll take it back to the auto mode now this is what auto does if i select polygons in this display mode it will display the front polygons the polygons we can see and doesn't select anything on the back indicated by there's nothing on any other islands but if i was to just uh, change my display method to wireframe and do exactly the same thing ryzen uv makes the assumption that because i'm in wireframe mode and the surfaces of these polygons aren't drawn that I do, in fact, actually not only want to select the front face in polygons, but also the ones behind it as well, which it has done. Now, if I go back to the select menu and say ray casting mode enabled, no such assumption is made by Ryzen UV. So if I select these front polygons, no back polygons will be selected. So that's the difference between auto mode and ray casting on. There's just one more thing before I go, and that is that this ray casting works irrelevant of what mode you're in. So if you're in point mode, 
edge mode, polygon mode, or island mode, these ray casting rules hold true. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click on the bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out some of the videos on screen now and you can also visit us on our website, across social media and our Discord server. Cheers guys, bye!